Learn how to indicate correctly in extended roundabouts in Australia. Some call these roundabouts dog bone, while others call them double raindrop or even jelly bean roundabouts. Don't indicate too soon because you might mislead somebody that's coming from the left hand side. Let's imagine we can divide the big circle into two perfect circles. Disregard the first circle and treat the second circle as a normal roundabout. Of course you would give way before you enter the roundabout. Only indicate when you pass the first exit, ensuring that you don't mislead the driver who's coming from your left. Understanding the purpose of these roundabouts will make it easy to avoid indicating incorrectly and losing a significant amount of points for signaling in your driving test. How to exit correctly. If I indicate here, it would be wrong because anyone entering the roundabout from my left will assume that I'm turning left and exiting. The best guide to when to indicate is as soon as you finish turning towards the round. That way you will inform drivers from the opposite direction that you are not proceeding in their direction. If you signal too early, it can cause a potentially dangerous situation by misleading drivers entering the roundabout from your left. In that case, the examiner will likely verbally intervene, which will automatically terminate your assessment. For a stress-free daily roundabouts experience, I will explain the purpose of the odd-shaped roundabouts in the example. This one is just a regular roundabout and I'm driving this little four-wheel drive. You can observe the correct indication and implement it in your drive test. The next roundabout is the one they should have modified because some drivers are unaware of the unexpected conflict point after exiting the intersection. If you indicate here as you leave the roundabout, there's a good chance of misleading a driver entering the road from your left. Let me demonstrate from a different perspective. Let's assume you are coming from the arrows direction and have less than two seconds from reaching the street on the left side. In that case, it's best not to indicate left at all if a vehicle is approaching from that street. The distance from the roundabout to that street is about 15 meters. If you're transiting through the roundabout at approximately 30 kilometers per hour, you travel 8.3 meters per second. A 15 meter distance in this case is insufficient to stop safely. If the red SUV driver assumed that I was going to turn left, he could have committed to turning, which would possibly result in a collision. If that's you entering the road, don't trust other people's blinkers. Always ensure that they are slowing down enough to turn. Keep in mind that every Every driving choice results from your visual observations. What do you think about extended roundabouts? Do they save lives or they are outdated design? Let me know in the comment section below.